Good morning. Welcome to day 98. It's 6.30, May 26th. I just left Grin Anderson Shelter at 6.15. And it's a pretty nice shelter. It's, it's a little old, but this was refurbished in the 90s. But uh, to be as old as it is, it's in pretty good shape. A lot of tenting behind it. Good water source. A really decent privy. I've been missing the privies that are well maintained and stocked with store-bought wood chips to put in after you're done with your business. And hand sanitizer. And had a even had a roll of toilet paper, but it was on this depleted but still very nice considering some of the last shelters we had in Pennsylvania didn't have a privy at all uh, I got into the shelter at a little after six last night I was feeling pretty tired because the heat had just zapped me and I don't think I even did a wrap-up video Last night, I'll have to go back and check, but I'm pretty sure that I did not. Because by the time I got in and got everything set up in the shelter and got my dinner made, I think I pretty much just checked the trail guide to see where I was going today and checked in with Mrs. Reboot. I'm pretty sure I did not do a wrap up video but I did ended up doing 21 miles yesterday but it seemed like it took me a long time to do it I did stop frequently try to rest because of the heat and to give my feet a break and to drink water But nobody stayed in the shelter with me. I think there were let's see, one, two, three, four. I think there were like six other people. They were all tenting behind the shelter. I had to shelter to myself. And it was so warm last night. Last night was the first night that I slept in my liner by itself. And I didn't have to get in my bag at all. The bugs were kind of bad last night but I tell you what that bug jacket that ex officio bug jacket that early riser turned me on to that thing does the job if you get sounds of mosquitoes around your ears just put that hood up and you're good to go matter of fact I slept in it last night because when I laid down the mosquitoes were messing around my ears inside the shelter so I got up and got my bug jacket out of my pack and put that on. Didn't have an issue the rest of the night. And I saw a mouse right before I went to sleep. But there were no mice issues during the night. And then I woke up early this morning, like I think like 4.45 or Somewhere around there, when they had started getting ready. A bunch of early risers around me. The uh, you know, it's it's almost daylight enough to see at five, but certainly at five fifteen, you don't even need your headlamp anymore. But everybody's already up and stirring around the picnic table before I got out of there. So today. I can do 13 to High Point Shelter, or I can do 20 into Unionville, where they allow you to stay at a park in town. And there's a pizza place and a grocery store there. I really don't need a grocery store yet, although if it's hot, it'd be nice to get a cold Gatorade. And it's always good to get pizza. So 
I'm gonna when I get to the High Point shelter, which is in High Point State Park. It's a Jersey State Park, which believe it or not, I've actually been there before. Mrs. Reboot and I came up here to visit her father and we took a little day trip to the state park and walked up to the monument. That was a long time ago. It's like 1999. And we actually saw a bear driving out of the park. And that is when I started learning about the abundance of bears in the Jersey Mountains. The plan is to get to the state park, check the weather. There's not a thunderstorm coming in. I may go on to Union now. Okay, it's getting rocky and the rocks are covered with some moisture and getting slick, so until next segment, this is Reboot, heading north. This is the view from Sunrise Mountain. And they've got a, a covered pavilion here. And there's also a view to the west, somewhat obstructed. Here's a better view of the pavilion. Well, this is my second rattlesnake. This one's much larger than the last one. That one's scary. That one's ready to strike. I'm at the High Point State Park headquarters. And myself and Red just had lunch right over the, there at that picnic table. It's nice and shady. There's water at that water fountain right there. You can refill your water bottles. And if you go inside and sign the hiker log book as a through hiker, they give you a free cold Pepsi. Courtesy of Friends of High Point State Park. I thought that was pretty cool. So the trail goes off this way, and we're thinking about uh, yeah, there's a through hiker over there. We're thinking about maybe going to the lake and trying to get a shower at the bathhouse. Let's see how that goes. So I'm at an observation tower here in High Point State Park, and you can see the the High Point Monument. That's the highest point in New Jersey. And here's the view looking east. And here's the view looking west. And that's the lake where you can go down to Shower House. We just come out in some pastures here. Got a real nice view of the mountains in the distance. It's 3.30 and I think we're about three miles, maybe a little less from Unionville, New York. And I just look back and I can see the monument at High Point State Park where I was just a few hours ago.
It's 5.45, we just got into Unionville. We're looking at Horler's General Store. Just went in there and got an ice cream and a Gatorade. And the pizza place, oh, also you get your permit to stay in the park here. It's free, basically just fill out a, an information sheet. Nothing to it. And right over here, the red building is Annabelle's Pizza. So we're gonna go over there and eat. And then the park is to the left of that. This is gonna be the wrap up video for day 98. I'm on the porch of the general store here in Unionville. And Red and I went and had some pizza and also had some salad. And I came back up here to the general store and charged my phone, my anchor battery, and uploaded the video for day 96. So I'm getting to go back over here to the park and go to bed. And sorry I didn't get any footage of my tent set up in the park because we ran right over to the pizza place. But um, it's pretty straightforward. It's just a, a grassy area back in the back of the park, so nothing special to see. There's a spigot on the side of the town office building and a portage on in the back for hikers to use. So pretty welcoming, welcoming overall. And despite the heat, I had a really good day today. I really enjoyed being in High Point State Park and called my wife and talked to her about some of the places where she'd spent her, spent her youth. So it's really fun being able to relate to her with all those uh, locations. That's gonna be it for day 98. Until tomorrow, it's all good in the woods.